so with that, it's my pleasure to introduce the man who keeps us all safe, the Honorable Sheriff G. Mark's worked, worked very well uh, since he's been in county government. Uh, you know, besides his distinguished career uh, as, a, as a teacher and as a military officer, uh, Mark, Mark's, got a, Mark's got a great resume, and he's the type of person we need to keep in government. But let's get out there, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get behind Mark, and let's uh, get his campaign uh, uh, rolling along, and, and let's get back in the fight. And it's my great pleasure to introduce my friend and a guy that I have a great respect for, Mr. Mark Sharp. We have the firefighters, we have the sheriff's department, we have the firefighters here. George Superici, I want to thank you, sir, for what you've done and what you do for all the firefighters. I mean, I know that you go out there and you fight for your members, and they and they protect us as well. And so, again, I want to thank you, again, for the firefighters and, and the deep commitment, Walt and the others that are here, who are always here and always standing out there on Election Day. Thank you very much for all, for all you do for our community. We're honored to have your support. Thank, thank you, Mark. I'm, there are a lot of people here, so I'm. Um, although my colleague, and if I don't mention her, I will get a sharp jab at the next board meeting. Rose Perlita is here. Rose. I'm. A, I'm a kind of a, an A personality when it comes to politics. I think about it all the time. I know I like to talk about it late into the night. I'm always on the internet, twittering or Facebook, responding to a Facebook. You know, when someone asks me a question, but I, I do believe that if we in elected office can communicate and, and talk to not just young people, but everyone about what it is we do and how we can do it much better, people then again will have confidence in their leaders. And as David said, you know, they might not always agree. I know I've got folks that get mad at me all the time because of how I vote. Um, that's, that comes with the job. But when you, when you do what you believe to be right, and, and, you, and you take the time to listen, and that's one thing I really do try to do. I, I, mean, I, I spend time, you know, whether it's on the Facebook, you know, or out there responding to my emails, or talking to people who call and complain. Our job is to listen to you, and to hear your voice. And I think that's why we've been so successful with a lot of young people who want to get engaged in this campaign, because they want to be part of the process. And we've got to include them. We've got to, we've got to not just ask them you know, to put up the yard signs. We've got to say, hey, you know, we want to hear what you think. Because the decisions that we're making now will impact these guys later. They'll be living with our decisions. They'll be paying for our decisions. I was, I was jogging this morning on the campus of FSU. I had a workforce uh, board meeting. And I got up early. And you know, you're running on the campus. It's beautiful. There's a lot of construction going on on college campuses, a lot of buildings. There's, there's some building going on. But you see these young people, and they're eager, and they're excited. And you know that they want to have an opportunity, just like the people that I was with on Monday when I was at Sun City for a Memorial Day celebration. And I was in an auditorium of perhaps a thousand people. And at Sun City, when they stood up to sing the national anthem, it was a thing of beauty. I mean, I heard, I mean, these were people who could barely stand many of them. You know, when they all stood to do the national anthem, some of them kind of, you know, got real slow. But when they all stood up, many of them were Marines, some of them were Navy, Army, Air Force. A lot of them had never served, they just loved it. But when they sang the national anthem, you could hear them belt it out. It was so beautiful. I was just thinking, gosh. I hope someone records this, because these are people who've lived the American dream, who never forgot the promise of America. And you know, they went to, the, the last gentleman who fought in the First World War had just passed away. But there were veterans from the Second World War, the Korean War, the Vietnam War. And these were people who get, had given it all. They came back. Some of them had to go back again and fight. They built an interstate highway system. Many of them knew it was going to be a 40-year project that they would never actually themselves benefit from it. 
But they believed in the promise of America, serving a cause greater than yourself, laying it on the line for something bigger than you. That's what these people at Sun City did, and that's why we have this spectacular nation full of promise. And so it's my belief that here locally, or up in Tallahassee, or in Washington, that it's our job, it's our mission, it's our purpose to give these young people that opportunity. And to sometimes even vote against our own self-interest in the name of the greater interest of the United States of America. And I believe that if we're going to be successful in government, or in business, here in our community, we got to grow with a purpose. We've grown. Florida's grown fast. And we're paying for some of that growth. I and mean, we've got billions of dollars of failed roads. We've got all sorts of people waiting in line for, you know, they want a school, they need a library, and they're saying, when are we going to get it? And we can't get out there because we're everywhere. So really what I think is that if we grow with a sense of purpose, if we focus on the things that we know are essential, K-12 education, higher, higher learning, work, tra workforce training, the things that I can control, we can control locally here at the county commission, transportation, making sure that we've got a system, transportation corridors, focused growth and development. That if we, if we do that, businesses and companies are going to want to come and relocate here. They're going to provide the type of jobs that the young people who are at Florida State and the University of Florida and the University of South Florida, they'll want to stay here rather than leaving to work in. And we'll have the type of community that we can be proud of. And that's really what I hope to do with all of you. I, we're, we're going to disagree. I would encourage you to continue to send me those uh, sharp elbows when you think that I'm, I've strayed. And I want to, and, 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 but I tell you, I'll listen and I'll pay attention. And then, like it says here, we're going to lead and we're going to make this community better. Before I close, I want to thank Jen Lux, Jen, who, and, and Tony DeSisto. Tony is a bright young man. A, 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 did, you graduated, have you not, from um, one semester left in law school, but is a, just a fabulous young man who I met. Um, when there was like three of us working on the McCain campaign early on in the crew. Um, but he, uh, he's, a, he's a good guy, and uh, I want to thank you, Tony, and I want to thank Chris Capper, who I, I, if I see Chris's face, that means the new website's up. So the website's up. We were stressing that. It's like passing a kidney stone, putting up a website. But we got the website, and it looks nice. And I, I want to thank all the others. Mark Proctor, who is a close friend, um, you know, and, and, and I tell you, you know, he, he's the one who got me into this when I first started thinking about running back in 2004, so we can blame him or thank him. But there's a lot of good friends here, and I, I appreciate the fact that, you know, again, we might not always agree. There'll be times when I have to do things that might not be pleasant, but I have to do it because I believe it's right. But in the ending, we're going to make a better community. So that, Jordan, so Jordan, and I just, I, there's so many faces that I, I'd like to thank you all. I just want to say thank you very much for being here. Let's, let's, let's lead with a purpose. Let's serve that cause that's greater than ourselves. Let's give those young people something to really believe in. Let's give them a future. I know we can do it. And if we do those things, I tell you, man, God is going to bless the United States of America. Thank you all. Appreciate it.